Hello ladies and gentlemen, Master Behind the Mic for a new stream of Rise of the Reds 1.9 internal. And first thing first, as you can see right now on screen, the background has been changed from the good old Russian helicopters to the Black Bear with an awesome art made by Mr. MP. Um, so, for now, uh, it looks like the players aren't ready just yet, so I'm gonna, uh, okay, uh, I'm going to play some PvE, in the meantime, the uh, chat has chosen, of course, my faction, and of course, they picked USA. So let's go for one of those new maps, Liquid Gold, that sounds promising. And I'm gonna play versus uh, Russia. Sounds like a plan. Bro is hiding the hate. No, I have no hate. Hello, Christian DP. Welcome to the channel. Well, let's see. Lay in the foundation. Righty. I have one let's to get to work. Let's build. Always ready. Any more projects? What's the story? Bring on the scaffolding. New construction. Made in the US of A. Any AI change? Uh, I don't remember when was the last time it was showcased, so probably. <laughs> That one's done, yeah. Uh, that one's woo. done. Bring on the scaffolding. Let's Control build. rod upgrade complete. Go it up. Hope the training pays off. Yeah, I hope too. Projects need a delivery general. All finished. Let's go. Any new for freedom lovers? I don't think on this build there is something new for them. USA Armor Division. Ready for action. Armor detail reporting. Special forces here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll build anywhere. Buckle up. Go wheeling. Lay in the foundation. Let's build some Time defenses. Wanna well, make some improvements? They are helpful. Javelin new icon indeed. Army's elite. Indeed they do. Crusader tank responding. But now let me show you some real magic. That one's done. Have a job for that me. That one's done. Go it up. Need a point, man. Meet your new Look owner. Remind me what the warden drone does. It does the exact hey, same thing as the um, blah, 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 blah. Avenger does, except it does not PDL. And also, it doesn't have the anti ground. Unit ready. The building is captured, sir. Always prepared. Always ready. All finished. Good area. No, you New didn't get it. Look at this. Bring on the scaffolding. Cheaper AA? Wait. Something some somebody has something in mind, right?
Okay. We have Crusader. Heavy armor ready for action. On your command. Yes, it's cheaper, and also now the uh, how do you call it? The Avenger has been pushed to tier one. Heavy armor ready for action. Cheaper anti aliasing. Ah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Russia still having an advantage on everyone. Um, I know supply lines will help. Our base is under attack. Damn it. What did you miss? The stream just started it. Ayo. Bring on the scaffolding. Ah, we got the glitch again. USA Armor Division. Clocked in. New construction. Made in the USA. USA Armor Division. Uh, yep, boom, boom, boom. USA Armor Division. Always ready. Ready for action. Oh, Heavy come armor on. ready for action. Fish gas already. Scaffolding. Have a job for me. Buck it up. I'm the job. Laying the foundation. Going up. How about a show of force? Hey, little off roading. Got room for five. Hey, little off roading. Crusader tank responding. Oh, great. Taking new ground. All finished. Taking new ground. Um. Pallies. That was a canoe, because possible. Um, Microwave emitters ready. Now we're talking. 
Uh, I will need a Cyclops, most likely. Paladin tank in the field. Confirmed. Protecting the modern USA armor division. Alright. Heavy armor ready for action. Let's go for that. Upgrade Okay. Defense. And uh Yeah, sounds good. Wait this uh, on the jays. Any more projects? Go. Just a dozer. It's fine. USA armor division. Uh. Let's get to the foundation. There we go. Good area. Power coupling optimized. USA armor division. Go! Just another thing. Have a job for me. I'll need Avengers and I'll need more tanks and a few Bradleys. Where is the Paladin? Uh, right, 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 right. How about a show of force? Tactical lasers on Defensive laser system. What's the story? Go. This is still a bit expensive. Sounds though. good. Come on. HBM vehicle standing by. Tactical lasers online. Ready. Uh, Have a job for me. Go it up. For enemy aircraft. Right. Uh, the building. What's the story? On the job. All Artillery now. Full gas now. Our 
damn it! And I'm dead. And topples. Hello, fl ah, Flamer. Thanks for the follow. On the secondary accounts. Dead. <sighs> yeah, the AI is very diverse, but it's still uh, hard. Nah, nah, nah. It's just that I suck with USA, but you still want me to play that faction. Right, do we have players now? Uh, do we have players? Uh, we may have Mizo versus Kit. Uh, okay, join in while I look for a map for you too, folks. Uh, Athenian Pass, Battlefront, Battleground to players. Seriously? <laughs> and... Keep off the grass, Lightning Grad, those are the remade ones. Ring of Iron. There is new background picture indeed. Oh yes, the winter map. Which one? Which one? The winter map. <laughs> there are many. So if you have the name. Alright, it's going to be a ring of fire. In. Two v two, dank. Yeah, uh, we have only two players, so let's pick a one v one if you do not mind. Uh, 
However, apparently we don't. Um, uh, do, 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 do. No, he didn't confirm. He was con he confirmed uh, that he would be available today, but all right. Uh, okay. Sounds promising. Right, we will do a two v two, uh, two v two com stomp. In the meantime, uh, let's go on one of the ranked maps. And of course, there is no ranked two v two. Uh, ah, there, there is one. Maguso, aftermath, middle fight, conflict zone. Let's go. Uh, let's go versus the easy army because it cannot be asked. Um, oops. Put one medium at least. You really want me to die? Uh, right, let's play versus China. And I'll play random. Oh, great. Even random gives me USA now. This is just bullying. Clocked in. Bring on the scaffolding. Uh, okay. Let's get to work. Have a job for me. Wait. That one's done. Ah, okay. This is my. I'll build anywhere. That's an old, an odd layout. Let's build. On the job. Um. All finished. What's the story? Make my own road. All finished. Sure, good me so go for it. I'm in voice chat, by the way. So if Control you want to join, made in the U.S. of A. Let's build. Uh, I'll go Air Force. Hello, hello. Hey, Mizo. Alright. Calvin came by the way, so we can have some PvP. I thought he was not joining for, for streams for a while. Well, apparently. It's funny that the people who said they're gonna join, they're not here. And the people who said they're not gonna join aren't here. Yeah. Yeah, well. What is this map? There are no supplies. I don't know. I was told that the ranked maps were great, so I picked a, a ranked map at random. Good area. That one's done. Oh. Yeah. Nice. The barricades are a bit different. On the job. Oh yeah, the new barricades. Uh, we're ready to build some. Where are they all built? Good area. That one's done. Wanna make some right. improvements? And uh, this and I will do that. Lay in the foundation. Done. Always ready. Uh, You have minigunner team just in front of your uh, munition bunker. Yeah. New construction. Rod Let me build a few little birds to get rid of that. I know supply lines will help. L 
little bird, little ray. Got it. Air support inbound. Sally yeah. copy. All right. Your face, though. Oh, okay. You yeah, help? Yeah. Well, it's gonna be fine. After you're done, you can showcase some of the Wanna make some improvements? Right. new things. Uh, Little bird yeah. leaving me next. Sec. Bring on the scaffolding. Let me launch one, huh? Ah, lost my little bird. Unit lost. I'll fire at anything. You play. I'll fire at anything. Let's get to you. Let's build. Little bird leaving the nest. Just say the word. All right, boys. Right, so you have guard towers, I guess. Yeah, and my munition bunker looks a bit different. Yeah. Let no me just give that a look. New construction. Right, uh, so you went for what? For the reinforced one? Eight. <laughs> and we and have a, uh, something new. Yeah. They're attacking oh. our base. Uh, wait, I'm getting attacked. Let me give me a sec. Yes, All right, here we go. Your AI is not very cooperative when it comes to showcasing. Uh, yeah. Right, so. Now the different fire, uh, the different modes of the battle bunk, uh, the munition bunker, have been removed and reworked into kits. So instead of being able to fortifying or uh, deploying a munition aura, the munition aura is always there, and the reinforced one is one of the kits. So, granting more sturdiness and uh, more and the ability to drop more bombs. And this one, as you can see, generates money. Yeah, I can get eco at uh, tier one. Yeah, but of course, you can only get four of them. So this is not going to be replacing telecom towers. It's meant to be something to support a little bit. Say the word. And what's the third kit, Mizu? Yeah, it's coming. It's a secret. Ah, it's a secret. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, General, our base is under attack. Killer A. Lead a heat. Clocked in. Take my own road. On the job. Near my base. Neat. Now, not only for ECA, since USA also has it with the um, logistics efficiency GP, the Chinook, Chinook uh, thing is also there. Don't upgrade it right away so I can show the difference between mm -hmm. before and after. So here you can see the default munition bunker, and now if you want. Oh. And this slightly increases the area of effects of the munition bunker. Also you can showcase something else with the barricades, huh? Ah yeah, true. Uh, how about some vanguards? Sure. Uh, that would be fun. So that's the third kit, yes indeed. Uh, I forgot the name, but it doubles the radius. Yeah, basically I built this way back in my base and all of my defenses which are in the front, at Mail's base right now, are being buffed. So this is 
something which is very useful because you know if you lose your ammunition bunker that's gonna hurt a lot and you don't want that to happen in front of your defense line so this is something you can put in the back to mi mitigate a little bit of this risk also there is a trade-off to all those good things uh, given to that is that uh, the explosion damage of the munition yes, bunker has been increased mm -hmm. so it's also worth to note that the uh, previous small bomb bombardment ability is only unique to the fortified variant indeed the others get their own unique perks yes, sir. basically All right. And, and also, uh, also, also, speaking of which, the uh, default and fortified bunker cannot produce the uh, munition track. Only this one, the one that generates money, which is called localized production, can, uh, well, it generates money and grants you the ability to build munition track from it. That's unique from them. Yeah, there's a lot of unique stuff which I'm going to be showing right now. Let's Namely, with some ability buffs to some units. Solid copy. My favorite units, in fact. So. What, the guard towers? Got it. No, no, guard tower is not my favorite unit. Guard tower is not a unit at all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a unit in the sense of ECA. Ah, yes, if you argue like that, then. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ping my. I'm gonna uh, show you right now. Ready for covert mission. Paying a surprise visit. What's this? The pioneers. Oh, the pioneers, indeed. The pioneers, instead of planting very small uh, amount of mines, now drop. Like a cluster of three anti-tank mines or seven anti-infantry mines. We have Lotus in our place. Yeah, and some improvements. meaning Bring if you put a lot of attention with your pioneers, you can yeah. actually lay down very good Stop mine layers. Going. Especially because the AT Beating. mode, um, those are... Smooth good safe. against everything, even mine immune units can yeah. resist them. Yeah, yeah. And they're only activated when uh, uh, an, a, a vehicle steps on it. So you don't have a risk of having infantry triggering those anti tank mines. Lead on me. Okay. All finished. Right, what? also, uh, as, I, uh, as I didn't really explain it. but showcased. So the Nighthawk has been buffed. Just statistical buffs, like it's cheaper, more powerful, drops bombs from a, from a longer distance, so it's pretty good now. And I don't know if this was mentioned previously, but the stealth uh, Comanche no longer has any penalty when choosing this kit. Yeah, it's also worth to know that the Lynx has got a bit of a rework. Yeah. Lotus. Yeah, she is shutting my vehicles. Ready for COVID. Um. So, remember the AT mine and how good that was? Well, that was that has been removed. And now, the Lynx is able to use the motor and the machine gun at the same time, as well as shoot tear gas rounds. Yes, the tear gas round is a targeted ability. As you can see, one of the main perks of the Nighthawk is the extended radius of its bombs, which is now way more extended. Like, it's almost doubled, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Now I am building a mechanized attack. Right, I'm going full sky, America. Yeah, sure, go for it. Go right we should oh. do something about that uh, nuke, though. Which nuke? The, the oh, enemy yeah. nuke. Yeah, don't worry, I'll manage. Well, either I'll manage or I'll eat it. It's, it's whatever. 
Also, wor something worth to note, heavy snipers no longer need any upgrade to use his abilities. Indeed! And the tear gas has been changed as well. Uh, in... Yep. So there were a lot of optimizations and internal reworks, but this one is actually way more noticeable. With it's no longer an airburst thing, and this thing lasts way longer. So now it's really worth it. As you can see, it's still going on. Before it was lasting like three seconds, and that's it. Right. Um... Stealth fighter ready for flyby. In and out. Wanna make some improvements? Let's go What's for a few more of Bring these on the deployments. Yeah, things. also the abilities of the sniper had a significant cooldown reduction. Indeed. Indeed. Forgot about that. Yeah, there's also that. In the field, light them up. Yes, sir. Nav system set. Yeah, those mix are annoying me, so I'm gonna use a bomblet strike on them. Bomblet strike also got a recent buff, uh, mostly to make them more efficient against light units, because and infantry as well. And infantry as well, so that now you can use them in those situations as well. You really need some anti-air, I'm gonna go for lightnings. Undetectable. Ready for covert mission. They won't get locked. Slippery time. Let's give them an air shot. Alright, okay. Getting more of my units ready. I'm rank 5 as well. Uh, I'm rank 4, I think. No, rank 3. Good area. Oh, have helixes. I need. I'm listening. Can you help? No, 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 no. Okay. We got the twin fang. That's just gonna close. Any more projects? There. Vanguard's got it checked. Which is one thing which is nice about this AI. Everybody will notice the AI is ruthless, but it doesn't just spam units. Yeah. And the game is a lot smoother than before. We control this guy. Indeed. And that's because it doesn't get significant amount of cheat cash. I.e. you can actually harass it to slow it down. And that's what so Mail has been doing uh, throughout the game by bombing their supply lines. Yeah, we've been playing a bit of support, but it's, yeah, not, it's, good, it's, good. it's not ideal. Okay, uh, they're starting to push in. God damn. I need that stealth upgrade, but it's too expensive. Destroy one of their war factories. Um, uh, I am getting the Venom upgrade. I'm getting for a B2 spirit. And by the way, the nuke is here. Select yeah. I'll. Well, it's gonna launch on me. Is it gonna kill my defense line? I think so. Uh, I'm nope. not gonna. Okay, that's good. I might need some help, my friend. I don't have much. It's okay. But I have, like, 
guys. I just need to hold on a bit while I get my venom upgrade ready. Well, and they kill all my Nighthawks, damn. Yeah. They know how to prioritize now. Okay, there you go. Widowmaker's back home reloading. Desperately need some vipers. And I also desperately need some money. Yeah, this map is very uh, money starved. Yeah. And they really want to try to get those uh, bunkers Ooh. destroyed. They also do some tank drops? Oh yeah. Chopper reporting. Target oh, oh. Bunker is destroyed. Boom. Might as well show the new bunker explosion. Uh. uh. Wait for a sec. I'm just getting rid of. Uh oh. Bunk relics. Yeah, as you can see, it's way more impressive. Your solo burst is ready, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on those infernos. Okay, time for me to get my venoms out. Oh god, I have overlords in my base. Yep. Whoa, 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 we got the sunstorm here. Where? Oh. Just at the edge of my base. I'm gonna burden it. Oh, you really wanted to kill my tigers, huh? Back. Right. Oh boy. Okay. Sunstorm destroyed. I've seen it all. Wow. Where are we going? Uh. Okay. Gunship reporting in. They won't get locked. I need vipers uh, and What's I need story? more money. More annoying me. You fine? Oh no. Oh, twin fangs just at the edge of my base. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Told you there were twin fangs. Yeah. China might be overdued because it's the Where we going? last. So it's the first AI that I made and I haven't touched for a while. <laughs> so that might be it. I've seen it all. Gunship reporting in. It's not the Because I haven't calibrated Eco. Anymore, on the proper levels yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm rank 5. Ah, it's been detected. Too bad. I don't have the money! Yeah, this map is not just for the money. Oh shit. No, no, uh, I wanted to make the Atlas, so. <laughs> 
Uh, uh I'm on my last building, bro. And what? I my God damn. Yeah, Here, well. I'll give you the remainder of my money. Build gun. Uh, no, 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 I'm not even trying. <laughs> Build gun, you can do it. Oh, yeah, now I have the money. Uh, I have the money. Come on, God! Help us! Oh well. Uh, there goes that. Uh. Oh no! They they the EMP. <laughs> they EMP the fucking airfields. They're trying to delay God. Yeah, something about China's Sakiko is a bit too good at the moment. Uh, yeah. AI wise, I'm talking. Because both of the AIs are floating like 40k, which means they're building too many hackers. Yeah. I'll calibrate that later. There we go. General, our base is under attack. Brothers. I have no choice but to sacrifice God. God yep. has been sacrificed. Yep. For the entertainment of the audience. You sadistic fucks. Ah <laughs> uh, well. You didn't manage to snipe the helix. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the weakest loadout, maybe, but it's the only one that can target air, so... <laughs> okay, Calvin is up for a game. So nice! And then again, you know what they say, at least the AI did a mismatch. 25 minutes, that's significant. Yeah. It's not the pyro that was the problem on, uh, on those helixes, that was mostly the... Uh, uh, the flak troopers inside the tank hunters. Bye bye. Yeah, again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm reading the comments right now. Yeah, the Lotus has been completely reworked. But not the one. wise. So the AI knows how to use the use her more than just uh, just capturing buildings. So they can, they can either che you know steal your cash or disable your vehicles. Yeah. When there's an all-out attack which has been issued, so yeah, there's a lot of diversity when it comes to this type of behavior. And all of this does not come at the expense of performance, so that's actually very good. That's the the best part of it. It doesn't come at the expense of performance, nor at the high risk of mismatch. Uh, the map I saw and that I was interested in was Ring of Iron. Uh, this one looked pretty interesting. Calvin doesn't have oh, Ring of Fire. Okay. Uh, those are the fixed map by uh, by Skit. So let's see. Uh, what should you pick, Russia? I will. Uh, should I stay in the chat or? Okay. Uh, Hunter, th uh, this is a Rise of the Red map uh, that has been uh, adapted by uh, by Skit, by the way. Uh, da -da -da -da. So yeah. Hey okay, yo, gonna, cool bata paco, welcome. from the chat, so I don't get. Oh wait, Calvin is here. Never mind. I'll meet myself or not. Sure. It's a one v one map, Calvin. <laughs> It has it has been set up so those those were the maps that were validated by Skit so hope 
because apparently uh, players want a bit of diversity also in the maps, so why not, after all? Uh, the GP, the uh, the carpet bombing uh, bombs of Nier got remodeled uh, some time ago, and each rank has a different model for the bombs. The pillager already got a VA. No, there have been discussions around it, but there is nothing decided at this point in time. The stream started early. It has started early because people asked it to uh, start early due to time zones. So I did choose to do it at 5 p.m. my time, but apparently it was not the greatest idea. Right. Uh, Calvin versus Mizo. We have a Russia versus GLA match and we have some connection issues apparently. Calvin as Russia versus Mizu as GLA. Right, we have the first Mishka going for some recon. Sorry. Uh, Ring of Iron is the name of the map. So there is an entire urban loadout. Uh, like set up on the side with only a hospital here. Oh no, there are supplies. Uh, so it's set up with uh, ah yeah, it's not set with the with the warehouse by default. Now I understand what you mean, but there are some additional supplies everywhere on the map. So it should be interesting. What about the Trident? It doesn't have a V. None of the new uh, added units do have one. Make it simple. Yeah, and exactly what Hanfield said. Maps too large, like space between. Mm. Yeah, it's a pretty big map, so we'll see how players will occupy it. It can be very interesting for GLA to set up some tunnels in here. Here, uh, for instance, I see a uh, worker going... Uh, we are approximately in the middle of the map, so here a tunnel would do a lot of good. Scout van. I don't understand why player disguise their scout van as the command truck. This is... I don't get it. But, okay. Okay, Calvin securing the supplies in the east. And building a barracks. And in the south, Miso's doing the same. Got some early harassment. through the supply dock. Anything new for this stream? Well, you missed quite a bit. Like, now uh, USA can build uh, either the normal cold power plant, uh, cold fusion power plant, like you always do, and upgrade it later, or build it pre-upgraded, so it takes longer and is more expensive. So, which is very good for late game when you need uh, that amount of uh, power. Also, Mizo showcased the new uh, variants for the munition bunker. So, instead of having the possibility to swap between uh, fortified and normal, you have three kits. 
This has been done mostly for performance concerns uh, and code cleanless. Uh, What did you miss? You missed uh, about one hour of stream. Tier 2 coming up for Calvin. Also, for those who missed uh, recent streams, the Tesla coil is no longer locked behind a GP. It is now default. And it is also tier 1! Uh, rebel, Rebel, Rebel. New cameo for the armor piercing bullet. Uh, when uh, when we get into the voice acting, we will uh, get in touch. We we will probably make an announcement looking for it. So stay tuned, and uh, we will have it. I don't think we are doing recruitment right now. Maybe Hunter can confirm or say otherwise. He's the boss here, so. Right. Looks like Mizo is preparing for an air assault to counter one from Calvin. That is because I see a lot of Stinger soldiers, and he went for the assault tactics. As I see that his newly produced technicals all have a Dushka. Just like Coil was lost somehow, but ah yes. So for for those who uh, didn't see that happening, the assault tactics now unlocks the salvage machine gun upgrade, and the salvage machine gun upgrade now also affects quad cannons. So you can produce quad cannons directly upgraded with the first level of salvage. Conscripts uh, being repelled by those squads. What was that? Maurice Mix attacking vehicles? No, I think it was attacking the Stinger site. But I think it can uh, it can attack vehicles if you target it as well. But like it's the, the it's a targeted ability, so whatever. was the tech ah the tech air field indeed that's also the same good point good point yeah as you can see Boris has just entered the field and it's not even equipped with the support loadout Lone worker going straight to its demise. And in the meantime, Calvin brings in the mortar Mishkas that everyone loves to hate. Technicals. It's a unit kit. It's a, it's a unique kit. Once you get the Assault Armament uh, upgrade, the Mishka can choose between three kits. 
And one of them is the Mortar Mishka. And also, for all the kits but the mortar kit, the Mishka is equipped with a small machine gun. Ah yes, the the infamous uh, rework, and this is where it gets a bit funny. You kill a Mishka, you can get tier 2. Because now the upgrades you purchase affect the salvage you drop. So this one was upgraded with Yara, so it's a tier 2 upgrade, it drops tier 2. There you go. <laughs> right. Looks like Mizo has a good control over the map, especially on the eastern side, and I see that on the western, and especially the northwest, he has some troops. Well, Calvin only has uh, this little position. Oh, it has the repair bay. How uh, will you get tier 1 scrap? Some uh, some units do not benefit from tier uh, tier 2 upgrades. For instance, if you take the ECA Gepard, uh, yes, the the no wait, the Gepard benefits from Manticore. Um, the pan the Pander does not benefit from uh, tier 2 upgrades, for instance. But yeah, we are still looking. Uh, looking out on how this goes, we have no final. Uh, it's not a f in a final stage. It's still quite experimental. What did you miss? One uh, one hour and eleven minutes. Uh. Nice little Congo line of units. Would be very risky to engage that alien in that force because all of them are salvage one and they can literally rip a alien to shred. Will the scud launcher make a return? It's already there, buddy! It's already there! And in the meantime we have a Tremor Recycler. Radar what can fire missiles. Rockets to be precise. Is there an HP patch for 1.9? Not yet. Like, let let 1.9 Release before thinking of an HP, please. No, no it's fine. It's fine. Like, uh, I have no problem with people asking questions. Just... Do not ask me uh, what did you did you miss? Uh, pff, I don't follow who lives to for a toilet break and uh, what uh, what not. If you see something in particular that you don't know, just don't hesitate. But just questions that are very vague, like uh, what's new in 1.9? Uh, lots of things. <laughs> Right, for instance, uh, the Golem tank has yet a new model and it doesn't have the Shtora by default, for instance. All that kind of... St that sort of things. The 
Arms suppliers now continuously generates money even on the move and deploys automatically when it stops. Yes, the spear team for the GLA. Uh, I think they got killed. Ah, uh, no, here is one other. It is a two man team with a recoilless gun. And it's dedicated anti tank. Did I miss the ambulance kits? The ambulance kits have not yet been implemented. They were made on stream like two hours ago. Testers do not have access to that release just yet. What's the new Russian building you spotted? Uh, if I was to guess, it would be this one. It's the infirmary. It provides healing for all Russian units. And is also an alternative tier 1 structure. So you can choose either this or the weapons bunker for your tiering. So if you want to go heavier on infantry, you can go for the infirmary. And if you want to go more on vehicles, you can go for the weapons bunker. Is the infirmary GP locked? No, why would it be? 1.9 builds every month. Uh, it's... I cannot say that it's every month, but... We've got some pretty frequent ones, yeah. Looks like some of those Ural trucks are now equipped with SA-2 missiles, not the most common of sites. High explosive bomb truck! Boom. Yeah. And also, uh, between this stream and the previous one, there were like two or three releases, but we we encountered some some glitches that we were not really comfort comfortable showing. So I prefer delaying the uh, this stream a little bit. Right, we have some. Massive Assault. Both players are at rank 4. Also, interesting stuff that the SA2 removes the stealth of the Ural truck, so it's a trade off. You need to be aware of the risks. Golem tank is very, very good in that situation. Breaking through and has better mobility than a sentinel. like Calvin is done cleaning house here. So a missile flying. Uh, missile is not building the scud launchers for some reason. He has the GP for it, so where is it, Miso? Where are they? Tunnel network, did it get its weapon back? Yes. It, uh, well, speaking of the Scott launcher, here it is. Remodeled and reworked. It is now a terrifying machine and no longer the zero hour wet fart. 
Pretty sure it's an upgrade. It's it's a kit <laughs> more than an upgrade, since you can either uh, take this or the camouflage. Oh, I would love the Overwatch circle to be visible to the opponent, but no, it is not. And Calvin with a lot of aliens cleaning the side from Mizo's presence. But Mizo still has a few Euro trucks with the SA2s. Right. Apparently, Calvin is well aware that Mizo has at least one scud launcher, so he does everything in its power to prevent him from using it. Release the scud! Well, my friend, you may have your wish fulfilled. <laughs> The hell is happening here? This is the damage done by only one scud. <laughs> this is zero hour. Can you still use the other generals like step? No, 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 no. No, no, we remove them, uh, we remove generals temporarily, but once we are done with this release, which is 1.9, we will work on 2.0, which will add uh, three new generals for each faction. Yes. There are plans for sub-factions, but the generals will be completely new. Uh, please be careful with the caps. I don't know what was happening with the uh, with the power. Uh, I really don't know. I thought for a moment it was the overcharge mode, but it wasn't that. Because there is a known glitch with that. But aside that, no, I don't know. Yeah, but it, it didn't appear to really affect this because they were not like turning black. So I don't, I really don't know what was really happening. Both players are close rank 5 and Calvin jumps the edge the first. Mizo will probably follow very soon. One golem tank should be enough. Yes, both players are rank 5. And more scuds. <laughs> what? Those golems just don't care. Well, well, well. Apparently something is new in here.
gods are still trying to impress those golems, but I think it's a lost cause. Black Bear has joined. Oh! Mines? 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 What is that tank? This is the golem tank. And this is the black bear. I just want to, to showcase that that smoke here doesn't appear. That is that a glitch, Hunter? Yo, mines? Golem with mines? <laughs> is that is that a glitch? Like these do you have a smoke and those do not? Like I'm puzzled. New Goliath. No, uh, Golem, not Goliath. Goliath is something else. And yes, the, the Golem got a, a new model. Indeed. Right. Show the kids. You're a glitch. <laughs> I am, I am your favorite glitch because you cannot fix me. Um. So. Seems something different with those Kojaks as well. Right. Sabotage. Yo! Like here. Like they have different barrels. What is this inconsistency business? Oh. Kojax now detects stealth? What? That's a huge missile. Well, now that the things calm down a little bit, let's start with the explanations. The Ursa Division General's power, in addition to everything it already does, now grants to every affected unit, so Kojak, Sentinel, Golem and Black Bear, KITS! Oh, revelation. Uh, two of the three kits given to those tanks is sh are shared between all units. So those shared kits are the improved optics that increase the um, sight radius of tanks and grant stealth detection. Uh, and the second one is the uh, impro uh, n not this one actually uh, has not been shown yet it has not been shown so now the unique kit for each tank some of those sentinels do have white smoke poking from the there behind it's because they have improved fuel making them faster and having a faster turn rate and the black bear shares this kit with them and the unique kit for the golem is the mind dispenser and for the 
Kojak, the unique kit, is the one you briefly saw previously. It's the higher caliber barrel that increased their damage. Golem get old style. Old style? Why? Ah, here is... I think the missile has a range. Does it? Ah, surveillance missile. No, I, I think... No, I think I think that's a terrain elevation problem. Uh, right. So the second shared kit is the emergency repair one, and we will probably see it in action any minute now. So all the affected tanks can get that engineering kit. Righty! And also, the missile that you saw crashing uh, behind the pillager a bit earlier was actually a missile that has been called from the Black Bear. It is a ballistic missile that can be called anywhere on the map with the condition that this place is revealed. What am I watching? Well, uh, welcome to the channel, Power Noob. Uh, you are watching Rise of the Reds, which is a mod for Command and Conquer Generals. Zero Hour. Yes, they launched a flare that reveals the terrain uh, in its trajectory. It's an ability they have. It's pretty neat. So if I can showcase again that big ass missile... Ah, it has been fired, so as you can see, it can be fired anywhere. It does pretty interesting damage. Uh oh, we have some scuds going up, up, up. Ooh, sabotage. So counter-attacking with an insurrection angry mob. Do the kits all have model change? Uh, the the improved fuel does not really have a model change. It just adds a small effect on the back of the tanks uh, with like, you, you will see smoke trailing from it. Uh, the emergency repair does have one and the improved optics also have particle effects showing like a detection pulse. Fob. I like when the missiles do pretty interesting damage. I don't know how to qualify they they're good. Uh, they're they are not like it's not like a nuclear missile. But it does d good damage. Uh do we see uh, so this one also has a repair kit. So those two have a repair kit. Angry mobs would be good. Yeah, well, oof. Scuds work too. Ouch. Come on, Calvin, use the thing. Ah, 
there we go. So the im the crew repair kit rapidly heals a huge chunk of health of the tanks. Also for Kojaks, it's basically their entire health, but for super heavy for super heavy tanks, it's uh, it's a bit less. Uh, but for a few seconds, it will disable the tank that activates the ability. How's the balancing in this game? So terribly low damage. Uh, the uh, um, the balancing is still work in progress, especially in this version. Uh, but uh, we we are working on it. There are there have been some balance patches that have been trying to iron out some issues, but we're still working on it. Artillery just deletes normal lone forces. Meh. It's not really the case. We have like heavy artillery that can uh, that can really wreak havoc, but most of the time it's not the case because artillery do have relatively less mobility, so and they have also dead zones, so you need to take care of them. But again, balance is not the main concern right now. We are still implementing functionalities. So yeah, do not expect this stream to be perfectly balanced. It is not. There you go. And Frax Bomb was aiming for that huge chunk of... Uh, arms dealers, and I think those topples are stuck in the war factory. Right. Misa, why didn't get hijackers? I don't know. Right. So, with all that, uh... That chaos. Were the kits clear at least? Hijackers are kinda eh. Yeah, well, there you have your answer, chat. Golem mines are the same as the RPG shock troopers. No, there's they they produce the same effect. They are Tesla mines, but they are they have a lower area of effect because it's not a single mine that is dropped. It's it's like a minefield. This one uh, I think will hurt. They aren't Tesla mines, they are shock mines. <sighs> you and your habit of renaming everything. <laughs> I hear you! <laughs> A bit of taunting. Always nice. We took a shock trooper and removed the trooper pod and combined it with a mine. So we got shock mines. <laughs> that works. Pillager got killed by... <laughs> That's what we call a swift vengeance. Three more Agas is ready. Bit 
too late on that sabotage, Mizo. Oof, that spear team! Yeah, as you can see, spear teams are very good versus tanks. Even if super heavies can resist a few salvos. No, yeah, against that amount of sentinels, yeah, they, they, they are, they are not ideal. I think those cuts would, would, uh, would be mighty useful in there. What's <laughs> speaking of the devil? Are those railguns? No, those are recoilless, recoilless guns. Yeah, well, uh, Russia's economy is pretty flourishing so so far. So yeah, <laughs> there is that. We have another Black Bear missile. What the hell is this map? A wine cellarless spot on next at this one. <laughs> I love this. Comrade General, why so many Sentinel? Why not? We have budget, so we can. <laughs> Eh yeah, well, looks like the Freedom Fighters will use their precious Scud missiles somewhere else. No, I think Mizu's dead. Yep. Will they change the Tremor Explosion effect? Why? Isn't not good? But we have new Volga in Malaris. That was hilarious. Ah, well, crash. Uh, crash after the game ends. That's interesting. Erase everything! So here you have the art of the black bear. As you can see, it's pretty beautiful. As soon as this gentle thing disappears. Mines, emergency repelled. No, 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 no. Improved fuel is exclusive to the Sentinel and the Black Bear. The Golem has access to the emergency repair, the improved optics, which grants stealth detection, and the mines. Uh, Calvin and I crashed. Yeah, I crashed as well. Yeah, well, everyone crashed. I crashed, you crashed, everyone crashes. Nice. That time though, that was a very big and weird map. Yep. Uh, right. Do we have players? No, they're playing a different game right now. Like it's only me and Calvin. Okay. Well, we have players then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the common ones are improved optics and emergency repair. Yes. Yes. And also the ballistic missile for the black bear is not tied to any kit. It is default. Right. Uh, 
blasted lands. Sounds like a blast. Lol. <laughs> if Hunter gave me one point, if if Hunter gave everyone one point, and everyone could uh, could join, right? But what would be the plan of making of making those streams? <laughs> Is there a new infantry plan for Russia or not? We have the new sergeant. We have the new perch trooper for Russia. Uh, but beside that, I don't think there are any new infantry in the plans. It is a Scud missile on demand without the toxin. Oh wow, I didn't know it was that powerful. Is there any 2v2 games? No, we only have Mizo and uh, Calvin as players today, so... 1v1s only today. So now that Mel said so, I might have to sneak one in. I dare you! I dare you! You wouldn't dare doing that. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> What's the third kit for the Kojak? The exclusive kit for the Kojak is the higher caliber barrel, which increased their damage. We need 5 billion Rise of the Ritz copies. 5 billions! Damn. I don't even know if 5 billion people have ever played uh, uh, Zero Hour. Basically gave its normal cannon comparable DPS to the Golem AO. <laughs> and also it affects both... Um, both uh, weapons, so the reflex missile is even more scary. Not yet. Ah, the missile remains unchanged. Oh, damn. I spread misinformation. Damn. Right. Uh, looks like... We have a Tunguska Rosh. Oh, nice use of the smokes. And we have a Crusader. Looks like Calvin has the control of this area. Yeah, the the balance quite shifted in that regard, but now even even amongst China the overload is not the heaviest that honor now come now comes to the Shenlong No no the ambulance kits are not in this build They they were like uh work in progress 2 hours ago do you expect them to be in the build right now Are there? I, I thought the Shenlong was heavier. Huh. Interesting. Well, 
may maybe it's just the the extra the extra flame immunity that is just making it more more sturdy or something like this. Did I miss anything? One hour forty nine minutes. New units or what's it? You missed the entire stream so far. And it looks like Calvin is tired of playing ping pong with that area, so he's gonna blast it. I oh, know, he's gonna recapture it. So yeah, what what do you think of those new uh, new kits provided by the Ursa division? Is there any upgrade for Hellions? Uh, the Hellion has a few upgrades. Ah, um, you mean any change, uh, Osama? Kid with mines is too OP. Why? Have you tried it? It's, a, it's quite a change, like, small 1v1 maps are more aggressive, those are better for, like, long games, in my opinion, but even then, this one is not that big. It's, it's bigger than a tournament desert, but... So yeah, Osama, to, to answer your question, uh, the Hellion has not changed much. Except that now, uh, since the rework of the compression missile engine upgrade, it benefits from it, but that's it. Yeah, someone should have used the entire missiles of the Crusader. There are eight player maps. This mod doesn't allow for that. What does it not allow? 4v4? Yes, it can. Hold up. That Humvee just fired the grenade? Yes! The Humvee has kits as well. One of them is the tow missile that you can see here. One of them is the grenade launcher. And the third one is the cage armor. And by default it has a machine gun. Ho ho ho. What have I missed? 1 hour 50 53 53 minutes. Pretty sure Humvee has the first kit to fight unit. No. No 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 no. That was the Paladin. That was the Paladin. Is the minimum RAM GPU requirement the same as the base game? Oh, it's the same. Especially in this version, since uh, since we are working on optimizing it. Wait, Paladins have kits too? Yes! There are many units that have kits. No, he... Hunter, he specifically said besides Shenlong, uh, Shenlong and Overlord. Yeah, many many units have uh, kits. You have the Bradley that has kits, the Comanche, the uh, the Crusader, the Paladin, both mix. 
uh, uh, Chinese MiGs, I mean. Uh, what else? Handgun ship. Uh, Shenlong. Overload, of course. Um, for Russia, you have the... Uh, what should we call it now? You have the Mishka. That has uh, kits. For GLA... For GLA, you do not really have kit units, but you have... The entire recycler logic. And for ECA, you also have a few ones. You have the uh, the munition bunker. You have the guard tower. You have uh, pfft, munition bunker, guard tower. What else does have a kit? Hooks for GLA. Thank you. Forgot that. Crab breacher, like that company of heroes, one Sherman. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Helix. And will bot, yes. Um, I'm not a very big player of Company of Heroes 1, so I wouldn't know exactly, I'm sorry. Those spinning chains or flays that can... Yes, uh, well, in, in the case of the Paladin, it doesn't have flails, but it has just mine rollers, but the, the effect is the same. Here you can see the Crusader with its AA missiles. And here you can see the new cameo for the Javelin team. What does Russia has as a gimmick apart from tanks? Abilities. Uh, abilities that uh, Russia has, for instance, is that most of their infantry when they die, uh, they get a camaraderie effect that boosts the firepower of nearby units. So basically, you kill one conscript, and the five around them uh, will be uh, will be more powerful. Uh, you have stuff like that. Um, all of their ground vehicles have smoke grenades, which allow them for uh, to, to to divert enemy fire. Which is very interesting. Um, what else? Their choppers are very good as well. They are very good helicopters. Um, yeah, that's basically. Wait, mini bunk munition bunker has kits. Yes, indeed. Those are uh, those are new. They will be replacing the whole... Um, you will no longer have the possibility to to swap between reinforced and non-reinforced um, uh, munition bunker. Now it will be a kit. And the reason for that is because code limitation. Like, the munition bunker was working not the way we want it, so we decided to apply kit logic to it, to make it more reliable. And the task is for support. Yeah, the, the, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, accurate, uh, cool uh, battle pack. -o. Hello, Kyorok! They rob Africa or something. They mostly rob like um, um, ex Warsaw Pact uh, uh, countries because they get all the mix. They get the hook, which is an old Russian, uh, an old Russian helicopter. So yeah, no, it, it's mostly they they rob like uh, old old Soviet uh, Soviet depots or something like that. Reinforced bunker, extended range, and I forgot. 
The third one is localized production. Uh, local production, which gives um, passive money uh, generation and allows the production of munition trucks. BMP have trophy? Trophy? What? Doesn't have a trophy. Oh, you mean this? The arena? Stealthing Russian radar existed. It's not a radar, it's just for vision. It doesn't grant radar when it's once it's upgraded with the observation kit. Well, actually, it's not even a kit since it's an upgrade. BMP now has arena, yes, after an upgrade. After this upgrade, which is called um, active active defense. And of course it doesn't intercept ballistic missiles though. So are you What? It disappeared! What are those extra vehicles I see in the command center? Yeah, those are scout vehicles. And if you tell me which faction, I can maybe give you a bit more details? The Tomahawk... Yeah, 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 I, I saw that. The, the Tomahawk just vanished. <laughs> Double it and give it to the next tank. <laughs> Ah, it's just a bug, don't worry. We'll figure that out. Oh! Someone is fed up, somebody's fed up and bringing out the big guns. There are kits for the Crusader too! Yes! Um, but all the centers in general, well, each faction bar ECA have a scout unit. Uh, got the tomahawk though. Does the tomahawk missile itself has a limited lifetime or is it just a bug? The cru uh, the one uh, that is guided has limited fuel, but I don't think it reached that end. I think it was just a glitch. There is no problem, just ask questions, those streams are there for that. I'm actually happy when people ask questions because I'm happy to answer them. The only ones I cannot uh, I cannot answer are the ones for future plans or release date. Is there a possibility for the Yakmamu to have kits? Nah. What 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 kind of kits would it have? Like it's a, it's a dedicated tank hunter. So w what would the kits be? Makes no sense. Yeah. It's an anti-tank, it kills tanks. Yeah, <laughs> there. What's the new USA T1 veterancy upgrade? Hello, NSRQ8! Welcome to the channel! Can I answer? The new USA T1 veterancy upgrade. NSRQ8, thank you for the follow. Uh, well, you remember the old one that is at tier 2? Uh, the one at tier 1 does the same thing! Actually, because now we split it, uh, the um, the veterancy between the one at tier one and the one at tier two, the tier one upgrade grants veterancy for the tier one units, and the one at tier two 
grants uh, veteran C for the tier 2 units. And it also affects Burton now. Ayo, cool better, Peiko, thank you for the follow. Very appreciated. Forgot to follow, no problem. You seem to like speaking in a Russian accent. I love speaking in many accents. I am one of voice actor of Rise of Reds. Um, sure. Let me give you... Here you have access to the ModDB page of Rise of the Reds, where you can find the latest versions. If you have trouble, leave me a message there and I will be happy to help. What unit did you voice? I voiced the Bloodhound for ECA, as well as the Vulture Bomber and the Stinger Soldier for GLA. And I plan on voicing way more in 1.9. No, the construction crane has been voiced by uh, George Exley who is a way more talented voice actor than I will ever be. <laughs> he is professional, I'm just amateur. I'm working on my Russian accent, but it's not perfect yet. Who voiced the Geppards? That's a good question, I don't know. It was voiced way before I joined in, so maybe Hunter has the answer to this. Right, IPS. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hunter voiced the Leopards, not the Geppard. Yes, it was the leopard. <laughs> IPS. I I don't think I ever talked with the IPS. Where is Comrade Crimson? By the way, he's still around in the chats, but he's not. Uh, not often here in the public with us, but yeah, he, he's still he's still in the chat. He's still lurking around. Oof, that's a warhead. And by the way, if you are interested, Comrade Crimson is my mentor as a voice actor. He's the one who trained me. Nuclear warfare is real, boys! And I also think you want to revoice the anvil, right, uh, Hunter? With those new kits. God has entered the battlefield. Well, it looks like God has left the battlefield. <laughs> What's the size of Rise of the Reds? Uh, over one gigabyte, I think. Slightly over one gigabyte, if my memory serves me well. It's been a long time since I made a, a full install of it, so I wouldn't know. Cold War gun hot, yep. Well, 
Why you call the Atlas God? It's it's a running joke in the dev team. Russian are allowed to voice Russian units? Yes, if we can find a Russian voice actor. So it's an additional one gigabyte. Yeah, it's more or less. I, I don't have I don't have the exact number at the top of my head. Uh, but but my last memories tells me like yeah one gigabyte. Please do explain the joke. Uh, the, the joke is that at some point the Atlas was so good that it it felt like fighting God actually. So the name stuck. That's it. Like it was just so overpowered at some point that it was called God. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't go that far, you know. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Right, so here you have the black bear with the improved fuel and more missiles. Hey, you know, sometimes the simplest jokes are the best ones. Is there a limit to topple? Yes, four. Four plus one silo. What's the black bear kit? Uh, one of them is the improved fuel that makes it faster. And turn faster as well. So faster and more maneuverable. Uh, one is the emergency repair kit, which grants it's the ability to quickly repair on the battlefield, but it needs to be disabled for a few seconds. And the third one is the improved optics that grants him a larger field of view and stealth detection. That's some friendly fire. How does the repair kit work? It's simple. Uh, when you're when you're damaged, you can. Uh, it's an active ability. Uh, so you you simply have a button. You click on it. Your unit will be disabled for like uh, between five and ten seconds. I don't know exactly. And it will rapidly, but very rapidly heal. Like think like the Manticore fast ability. <laughs> But it will not. Uh, it will be just one time uh, fast, fast regen, and then after that, uh, it will re-enable, and you can use your unit again. I'm sorry. But yeah, it looks like. Mostly, Calvin chose you to use either stealth detection or um, what we call it now, improved fuel for Sentinels. So, sounds like a seventies radio host, man. And now we see that we have nukes! We have nukes! The raids have sent the nukes! Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I love fooling around. Right. The Nighthawk also got a few improvements, mainly statistics. Uh, it is cheaper, it has a longer range, it does more damage, etc, etc. I have detected cringe. You have detected cringe? Have you looked in a mirror, dear sir?
Comrade General, you spread the cringe! Da! Dimitri, you will get demoted again! Four have been coming! Uh, all the changes, upgrades, and reworks. Uh, yes, I just remind me at the end of this match, and I will give you the link. I have it somewhere, but I, I do not have a, co a quick command to to give it. So I, I'll give you the the link, Panzer Bell. As soon as this match finishes, just give me a heads up, and I will give you the link. Okay? Yes. It, it is not a uh, an official changelog, but it has been made by someone who follows the streams very regularly, and it's pretty accurate. Obliet! Yes, there is a link here. Uh, no, you cannot uh, put link. There you go. You can you can use this command to to get the discord but you cannot put links yourself. Yeah, you will rarely find it which channel that allows links. <laughs> Is propaganda! Propaganda has immobilized the black bear! There is also tech support if you're having trouble, yes. I highly advise you join the Discord. Ooh, nasty! Bleh. <laughs> can send links, but we can't. A bot can send links? Uh, yes, because those links are links that I programmed on the bot. And those links are approved by myself. That's why the bot cannot throw random links. I told my mother we'd see leopards, lynx, and mammoths. <laughs> nice. Black bear is a very fat bear. Umfelgrumf! Welcome to the channel! I remember you from the from the SWR forums. I remember your name. Damn, that's a surprise. Yeah, I, I saw I saw the rest of the the sentence, uh, Christian. But uh, I was really surprised to see Opfen Gum. Like, he's he's a long time uh, follower of Rise of the Reds. We've been there for. Uh, USA or Russia feature complete? No. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Neither of them is feature complete. Yeah, uh, we we are on active development since like April of 2022 for a 1.9. So yeah, it's It's going pretty well. 
bit over two years now. But where Alexei? Alexei is providing vodka somewhere. And God has yet again entered the battlefield and is chased away by those non-believers. People don't believe in gods. Damn. Field barracks? No. Oh, field quarters! That's been a hot minute! Come on, thermobaric shell! Eh, not needed. <laughs> Damn. That's been a long time since uh, since I've seen those used. <laughs> Interesting change for them is that now they can produce any tier 0 or tier 1 unit. So they are way more versatile. Spectre is now controllable. No. Well, you, you can still... Uh, relocate its target, but it will still like you will plonk the the circle. It will circle in the in the target area, but you can still designate targets with it. Unless you're t talking about the uh, the Atlas, which is the epic unit for USA, and it's slightly different. I think that's the Black Bear missile that has been sent somewhere. More capitalistic propaganda, please! Those Western spies! Ooh, shock troopers! That's nasty, though. Ooh, enforcers! That black bear doesn't seem very happy. He's coming with a vengeance. Doesn't have time to use the Shtora though. Remember the moment when the hunter stopped the screen sharing on his stream two hours ago? Not to spoil new content. <laughs> Maybe it was content that was shown on this stream. Or maybe it's content that is not even available to testers. Uh, it's not exactly the same as uh, Ken's RAF units though. Y you cannot really rely on them solo like you could with like a... Uh, Redeemers and uh, Marvs in uh, Ken's Wrath. Like, they are more like su super support unit. French cheese? Well, which one? We have like hundreds of them. <laughs> That's the very definition of being cornered. <laughs> The one that smells like smelly feet. Yeah, but okay, but which one? <laughs> that's that's narrowing. That, that's barely narrowing it down. <laughs> smelly foot fingers. Oh, all right, all right. Of course, of course, you have to bring in the foot fingers. God damn you! Nah. Like replacing the machete by by a uh, by an overcooked baguette is is literally a war crime. So no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we are not promoting war crimes and rise of the reds. I don't agree. 
Five seconds later, nukes raining down. <laughs> Tremor Agas is ready. GG. Uh, Panzer Bell, did you find the uh, the list for uh, for the changes? That kill that thing that kills Sentinels is a war crime. <laughs> yeah, well, for those who do not have Discord, let me find uh, the link. Just give me a second. Do 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 do. do. There we go. There we go. So here you have all the changes. And it's pretty well updated. General Kwai would be jealous of the Sentinels. Definitely. <laughs> ah, right. Are they still up? for a few games or not Mizo is uh, imminent victory I like the name of this map we don't caution war crimes in Rise of the Red so anyways the Nerf Ghost Strike nah nah nah, nah. Nerf Ghost Strike has been retconned any other new stuff revealed today uh Kits for the Black Bear and the Russian tank. Uh, kits for the Munition Bunker and the Guard Tower. Uh, what else? Uh, the rework of the Lynx has been briefly showcased as well. Uh, what else? Let me let me check the change log. <laughs> Because, yeah, so many changes. Bug fixes, bug fixes, uh, buffs. German uh, fix. Ursa division. Yeah, no. Oh, it's mostly adjustments, not really new content. No new Russian units. But um, I I think they they got quite a few. Guard tower kits, yes. Now the uh oh, well. Let's go. <laughs> right, we will showcase it. Hello? Um, I crashed. Ah, Mizo crashed. Let's re. Maybe change the map as well, because. Okay. Fine Maybe for me it crashed. Fine by me. No, no new Russian units. Well, I, I think in 1.9 there are a few new uh, Russian units. So, uh, liquid gold sounds like a plan. Now let's go for one of Skit's fixed maps. Rather, because those I know he tested. Mm. 
Saran Wasteland. Sounds nice. It's fine. No China. Eh, there is nothing. Like, China is considered finished, so... Aside from um, balance changes and bug fixes, China is considered finished. Okay, Mizo as ECA versus Calvin as uh, GLA. Now I will explain in more details what the different kits for the munition bunker and the guard tower do. Uh, double dozer for Mizo. So he's gonna probably go for a vehicle assembly build. Well, Calvin is already spreading like a virus on the entire map with a lot of workers and a forward barracks. About China, is there a new unit uh, or added gimmick to the faction? A new unit? Like uh, in 1.9 they get their own epic unit, the Sunstorm. Uh, they get, uh, they get, uh, they get, they get, they get, uh, they don't get much in 1.9, I have to say. Oh, they get the assault cannon! Forgot the assault cannon. <laughs> How could I? How could I forget the ass cannon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you have the assault gun, which is basically an anti-building unit. And the entire gimmick of China is like the, the whole horde and propaganda thing, uh, which we pushed way further than Zero Hour. The ass cannon. The assault cannon. It's called the assault cannon. Right here we have the first guard tower. Which is by default not armed with the MG thing. Now it fires in bursts by default. So, by default, it has a weaker gun, and you can choose between three kits. Either the two that you know, so the binoculars for vision, the scanners for stealth detection, or a new kit, which is a heavy machine gun that fires continuously. That's it. Here you have the three kits of the guard tower. And the main, the main reason behind that is because it was not really clear how to, to, um, to swap between them. Like many people didn't know that to stop the binocular mode, you you should just press like stop button and it goes back to the machine gun. It was not there was no clear way of uh, explaining it, so we decided to go this way. So it's a nerf. No. Not really. The kids are free, so you choose. What role does guard tower play? Uh, anti uh, anti infantry defense, and now it can choose behind very powerful uh, anti infantry defense, um, scouting, or stealth detection. It's more modular, so to say. Fenris is not a Pandora protocol. Nope, not anymore. The Pandora protocol now unlocks the Prometheus. So third kit is the same gun before the change. Yep, yep. 
And also, I, I don't consider this a nerf. Because basically the kits are free, so you you're not uh, you're not paying more for for the machine gun, and uh, yeah, you get that. So the mortar got reworked as well. Now it has the same range as the machine gun, and it only has the default round, which is high explosive, so decent versus everything on the ground no longer has the guided uh, anti-tank shells, which were ridiculous. Um, and, uh, yeah. And also, when you get this upgrade, you can you can use tear gas shells as a targeted ability. And we have a scrap denial. Yeah, you can no longer switch be uh, between modes. Uh, I, I agree th with that. It's it's a slight nerf, but compared to 1.87, let me remind you that those uh, modes were locked behind the GP. So, who took that GP in 1.87? Honestly. Yeah, it compensates, so uh, it's it's clearer for everyone, it's easier. Plus now, when you have the binoculars, it has a gun, so it is it is kind of a buff. Like, you, you have those gu gun turrets that are still very good, uh, even in burst fire. Uh, but, yeah... It, Fenris Prey... Them. Yes. Magical scaffolding disappear in this case. <laughs> right. Uh, do we have the munition bunkers just yet? No. No, now now they can, but they they, they fire with the uh, with the weaker with the weaker um, machine gun. So yeah, y you can consider it a nerf. I I get I get the logic behind it, but I it, it's it's a good quality of life. So for for what you lose, you gain way more. Jobman was told to chill out. Chill out, dead bag. No more anti-tank shell for the links. Nope. <laughs> that that one was quickly retconned. <laughs> But as you can see, the regular mortar links is already pretty scary. Uh, right, right, right. Didn't go for munitions, I think. Anyway, um... Very good against building. Yeah, I see that! We have mercenary gunners, those are gonna be a plague since Miso doesn't have self detection. And also, since Lynxes cannot force fire on the ground with their mortar. <laughs> oh. Ballistic missile strike before the uh, marksman is shot. From the sky. 
Bull Doctor Rick, rank 3. Damn, Miso, chill out. Mm -hmm. There is some blinking in here. That's interesting. Uh, and the Bulldog is destroyed. We have an albino scorpion tank. Ah. And apparently, it still has a recycler, so it's gonna collect everything. Alrighty. More lynxes. God damn it, Miso. <laughs> Use our <over> units. <laughs> okay, we have panders. Here we have one with an auto cannon. We have leopards. And I think that's gonna go badly for Calvin. Oh, we have the Jaeger Pander. Rare specimen. Indeed. Wait, so you can't just collect salvage by running over it anymore? Yes, you can. You can, but for those specially marked salvage with GLA, you can collect them with the recycler to unlock special tech. But of course, if you choose not to, you can still uh, roll over them with your with your vehicles, as probably gonna be demonstrated here. See? And these are two of the things that you can unlock with that: the penetrator gun and the microwave death ray recyclers. What special tech? Well, this. <laughs> So basically, depending on the the faction you you steal it from, you can unlock new upgrades and new variants for the recycler, which are very powerful. Like for instance, those quad cannon penetrator are very powerful against tanks, as you can see. Like, and they they get through armor, like through and through the tanks. Like, literally. <laughs> Must hurt. Yep. And you have two different variants that you can collect per faction. So here you have the two... Uh, well, you do not have a death ray anymore, but you had it earlier. You have the two ones from ECA. And also, you can get unique upgrades for your units. Like, for instance, squads can get shotgun shells, which gives them area of effect. Don't get mad! Get grad! Oh yeah. You have ways. So this is the weaker machine gun that you can see, and also it was on stealth detect mode. Ooh, anthrax bomb! That's nasty. And also, we ported this from hand patch. Canister quads are the coolest quads. I don't know. I don't know, uh, I, I think I still prefer the nuclear ones. Like, yeah, canisters are, are great and all, but... Like, nuclear? Who doesn't like nukes? For comedic reasons, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Like... I I know I know that the technical can do wheelies, but can also the the quad? I don't remember. What cannon can do too? Yes, ah yes, <laughs> we need that. <laughs> yes, that's great. Ah, this one is not upgraded at all. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, this fortified. Uh, this reinforced fortification is not garrisoned. This is. Wait a waste. Oh! We have the Venom! Venom Power Suit! Ooh, that's a bad idea! That's. Well, not a bad idea, it's a risky one. Because you have a penalty. Oh, doesn't have any anti air anymore. Calvin retreats. You should retreat, Calvin. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, smart. How can Quad do really? It's a half track. Don't question it. It's cool. Oh, we have a pillager. As is shot. And Mizo calls the GG. Oof. There, there you go. Alrighty. So, what? Nice match, indeed. Indeed, it was a pretty good match. Wait, did Mizo disappear or what? Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. Ah, oh, you like the new background? So really, here it is as a nice uh, image to end the stream. Nah, we uh, we I think yeah, Mizo is done. So uh, we are out of players for today. But we've been doing this for almost three hours. So it's good enough for today. Yeah, I too, I too love you guys. No, I don't play. I don't play versus Calvin. That's gonna be a massacre. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this stream, and I will see you soon for more content. See you. Bye bye.